Hey everybody, Texas Stroker here, Lance's Performance Shop of Lone Star Mobiles. I come Saturday night, a little after 10.30. I'm going to try to get this cranked out so I can clear some space on the floor. But uh, this is a, another DRPD haul. This stuff all came from a Labor Day sale. And there's some really cool stuff I'm not showcasing just yet. Why? This stuff all has one thing in common, and that's that it is going to work with me. So, uh, as always, I've got links down below along with timestamps. If you want to skip around, feel free. The links I make nothing off of is literally only there for your convenience. DRPD, in my opinion, uh, my favorite place to pick up coking. So, uh, what we're going to get started with is, I guess, this. And this is not something that we bought. This is just a standard Coke and Ratchet. It might have been one of my first. Uh, 72 tooth zeal, flex head, nothing crazy about it. But that is the standard iteration, if you will. Just real, real crude, real quick. We'll call it seven inches. This is the exact same ratchet mechanism, but it is not seven inches. It's significantly longer. If we come in and we take a gander, we'll just quickly, crudely, call that 11 inches. 7 inches and 11 inches. 11 you get more leverage. 11 you can kind of reach some tighter spaces. Sometimes it is a detriment uh, and you would need something shorter but run-of-the-mill stuff I prefer the extra length. I'd love to see the handle come up farther especially on this one here it would be a little difficult to. Uh, on this one I do wish it was more proportional. Uh, we can come in real quick and I think you can tell if we zoom in the anvil on this one is much dirtier or has more of the finish off and that's because I use it more. So what this one was, this one was literally came from the roll cart. This one came from under the hood of the truck. Why? It was attached to this. Well it was. Uh, we'll have something else on the end of it here, but it was attached to this with a Koken locking extension and a nut grip. Why? Half inch nut grip. What is it for? 516 bolts. Where? Thermostat housing, water neck on a 94 to 2001, 5.2, 5.9 Magnum. So what does all that have to do? Well, that all leads up to this item number one. <laughs> this is one of those things where I've gotten to use these personally here at the house, doing my stuff in my free time. A um, couple odd jobs here and there for people. But this is what I picked to be my 3 8 drive at work in flex form. So, uh, of course, we've already got the Hazette HPS line up there. I've been doing some work. And now this is Koken's part number 3726Z. I realize that's blurry for you. Just run with me. 3726Z-280 72 tooth 3 h drive. So if you want to see that for yourself, I will attempt to make it focus. She ain't going to do it. Who cares? Take my words for it and it is linked below. So this will be exciting. We're kind of get like brand new right out of the box to compare. Oh yeah. <laughs> I can see a difference. That head looks smaller, uh, interestingly enough. Uh, surely it's not, but it, from a distance, it did have that uh, iteration to it. So if I spin this around, such a great ratchet mechanism on these Kilkins. We'll do that, and yes, you can hopefully tell this one over here, underneath the thumb, is brand new. This one is not. So when I spin it over again, she's got some wear and tear, some battle scars, a little dirtier. It's just a fantastic ratchet. Uh, it's a great price in this case. I believe the price before the sale, and definitely before the sale now that I look at it, $112.95. That's a killer deal. And then we got good chunk. I think the Labor Day sale was something pretty high up there that we got off. So uh, this, like I said, is going to be my choice for the 3H drive ratchet at work. So now, 3H drive at work, what else might we need? Well, let's step in right here, which is going to be difficult to do for reasons I won't go into, but we're going to need some of this. Now, I do have some proto extensions. They are nothing fancy. They are standard length. I love the knurling on them. I also love the knurling here on the Kokens. Something I don't think gets enough attention is that there is knurling on the Kokens. It's going to be up by the anvil, though, not located anywhere on the shaft. 
Uh, Proto, you're typically going to have the knurling in this quadrant, if you will. It's not like they come down to the socket. It would be cool to see a company actually stagger the knurling. Uh, just an idea, if I produce tools, that's what I would do. But I went with an assortment here uh, to sort of complement what we have from Proto. And so we've got the short guy is a 75, and then I went with a 125, and then I went with a 250. So essentially think of this as a 10 inch, a 5 inch, and what, a 3 inch? So you can kind of see what I was going for there. Prices respectively from small to large. You're looking at 11 45 12 55 and 20 70 for the big guy. I cannot stress this enough, and I don't have a 9 16 here anymore. Uh, but if I pop this off real quick, this is a huge deal, and this is why I picked these over any other brand. I love them. You've got a standard extension. We're 10 inches now from the ratchet from our drive tool to where we need to go. If you just pull it off a little bit with the wobble fix, you've got a ton of articulation. I do have instances, especially with the nut grips, where that will rip off. Uh, but for starting things, for coming in once you broke something free and just spinning it out, clearing obstructions, these are great. The prices are insanely good as well. You just cannot go wrong with the wobble fix extensions. Here at the house, we have several that we tried out. Liked them so well, we did foam sets for the quarter and three eighths. Half inch, we just did the plastic tray because of foam. It's nice, but it's, uh, it's a lot of space that it takes up. So anyway, those will be going to work. Now also going to work is going to be kind of the same thing, but in quarter drive. And what we've done here, uh, we do not have a Coke and quarter drive at work. I'm still, the price point's very high, maybe a fixed one, but we've already set up there with Hazette. So what I did here, this is kind of an extension of our wobble fix nut drivers, if you will. I use nut drivers more or less a spinner handle, but I set them up as nut drivers in the meantime. Uh, just really, really good combination. We do have differing lengths there, but, and of course we can do the same with the 3 8 These two right here, if I can track them down, I went with a 100 and a 200 millimeter. Think of that as 4 inch and 8 inch. And you want prices on them? For the quarter, four inch, thirteen eighty five. Similar number for the double length, two hundred millimeter, eighteen thirty five. So again, those are before we come in and have our uh, discount. But check this out. You kind of see what I did here. Staggering these, which again, I'm stretching my dollar as much as I can. Three H drive. We're gonna have ten inch quarter drive. We've got an eight. Three H drive. We've got five quarter drive we've got four three eighths we've got three you don't have to do it that way you can spice it up you can get the same extensions kind of depends what you're doing if it's uh, repetitive like line work if it's every day is a different job different scenarios um, for me it's kind of usually i know what i'm up against and so i felt like by dividing and conquering We've sort of got a nice assortment. Obviously, we can come in later, tack on if we want to. But five extensions between quarter and three-eighths, pairing, of course, with our ratchets and the spinner handles. Felt like it was a pretty sweet little setup there. So, coming in next, what we had here, um, not lying to you, but I told you this thing was attached to the locking extension from Koken. Didn't bring in any of those. I think they were sold out is honestly the real reason. But this was attached to the KTC. Why? Because I'm constantly having to spin that out as I attempted to find something that would actually seal before going with a uh, silicone-based solution. And this right here, though, is my setup for that thermostat housing, right? The water neck. A really long extension that you've got to have to clear all the factory obstructions. The nut grip. Why? To hold on to the head of the fastener. If you recall, at work, I've already showcased and taken there our quarter drive SAE nut grips. Again, old school. I get by with that. <laughs> and uh, one of the reasons we didn't have the 3 8 ones was they were not in stock for the Labor Day sale. I was able to make that happen. These are spindy. Uh, they're geez what 95 05, 20 cents more than that ratchet so this guy right here plus these are our spindy items from this haul but uh, this is a 3 8 nut drive set and what i love about this one you know the og quarter drive 
it ran was it three sixteenths or quarter <laughs> up to half nine sixteenths was then available as an add-on and then of course they made it to where you could go all the way to nine sixteenths so this though very comprehensive especially for 3h drive so you've got quarter five sixteenths three eighths seven sixteenths half nine sixteenths five eighths eleven sixteenths three quarter for 3h drive this is awesome could you do bigger sizes yes do some of you want something smaller you probably do but for 3h drive general run of the mill this is awesome uh, do they have oddball sizes you know like 30 second this and that not in the nut grips but for me and especially at work that is not an issue this is ideal uh, it's everything i need and nothing i don't keeps the price down and if we want to run anything smaller, we can put an adapter or a reducer. And if we want to run anything larger, well, I don't know that they have anything bigger than that for SAE at the moment. So we'll have to wait. But <laughs> so, This is going to be awesome. Obviously, it's going to pair with this. Of course, we can throw it down on the Zets as well. But all the time that comes in handy, those quarter nut grips, they get way more work at work for me than they do here, sadly, because I don't have much free time. But with junction boxes, weird things where you're trying to like hold some cast piece plus a gasket plus keep wires back and start a bolt, they're awesome. Uh, in a typical scenario, if I had my like Klein nut driver, I'm kind of try like trying to keep the nut driver pointed up. But then the issue is with the junction boxes, you kind of have to go down. So you kind of do that awkward fish and stab motion. And what happens? Fastener. Doesn't always hit the ground. Sometimes she just kind of comes out a little bit and you'll catch it. But it's much, much nicer for me to take the drive tool, we'll just say a Siskador, and be able to have the fastener already in place, do whatever I want to with it, and then just stab it, and hope that we can have the gasket clear and I can start turning the threads. So, that's the setup there. Uh, what else do we have from this order for me to take to work? We're getting close to the end. I wanted to get through this as quick as I can. It helps when we've, like, showcased these. I feel like you know these items fairly well at this point in time. If not, I encourage you to go back, check out not only my DRPD hauls, but also the uh, Koken ones. If we were bringing this in for the first time, we would spend a lot of time with it. Uh, at this point in time, I'm trying to cater to like veteran viewers of the channel. They're like, oh yeah, I know about that. So that's sort of where we're going there. Uh, this was a big deal. Uh, no, no, no. Let's let's stick with this for OCD reasons. So. I would like to do more of these. They are expensive. They're also sometimes not in stock. But Koken's part number, 3772Z. Some of you are going to know exactly what this is. It's 3930. It's pretty expensive for what it is. But when you think of it as being two of something, and you divide that in half, and you're like, well, 1950-ish. That's not terrible. Sub $20. A little high, but hey. What is it, you ask? It's this. And you're like, what is that monstrosity? Well, again, if you're new here, you've somehow missed these videos in the past, this is a universal joint. You're thinking like, well, it's really long and you're gonna have a lot of issues there. You know, it would be nice if it was maybe well, this anvil here for your socket was way down here. Well, check this out. What did we just do? We bent. What did we do there? We bent. Don't believe it? We'll go back the other way. Drive in here for your socket is up. This end is up. This end is out. This end is in. You get the idea. It is, if it's like, hey, that's like times two. It's a universal joint times two. It is. That's why it's called a double universal joint from Koken. So, uh, basically, the way this sucker is going to work, we'll throw it on the old ratchet and uh, take it. It's not really old. It's just used more. Uh, you can kind of picture things here. Again, this would be your straight drive line angle. Down, down. And yes, it still turns and it still functions there. You get the idea of the motion in the ocean there. It's just an awesome piece. I felt like 3 8 is sort of the middle ground for me. Uh, it's something, again, if I'm quarter or half and I want to run an adapter, we can totally do that and uh, kind of get to this thing. But for all intents and purposes, I plan to use it with 3 8 the vast majority of the time. Maybe over time or as funds allow, we'll expand it out like we have here at the house, but... Again, at work, it's not super often that I'm having to do something in those tight quadrants. It's really like one main thing, and uh, I'm excited to try this there. I'll have to couple it with a 916 socket and see how it goes. But 
Uh, moving on, there's something else from Koken that I nearly forgot because it's in one of these little classic DRPD little bags. I actually prefer it when they do this because when they do the brown paper and <laughs> just tape them, I am real bad about like losing the bits and then I have to like go hunt for them and think, hey, what did I do with that box and where's the brown paper? Because I keep the brown paper for painting and stuff like that, packing at work even. Uh, I get so much of it here, I'm like, okay, well, better take some for packing. Try to reuse it when I can, but uh, I'm actually a big fan of these because you know we got good stuff inside and it's easier for me to find. So, this will be from Koken, and it is their part number 3756Z. If I read this number earlier, that means that the universal joint was 3772Z. Well, my apologies there. Uh, it seems like I either have it on my mind or I, I screwed that up for you. Links will be fixed either way, but this is a spinner. What on earth am I going to do with the spinner? We're going to take it, we're going to put it on the end of the ratchet, and we're going to spin it to win it. So, uh, basically what kind of sold me on these, which I'm just picking coking because that's what it is, the Napros one. Uh, it's a weird deal. I... We have the epic blue ion plated, which is like arguably the most beautiful ratchet that I own or will ever own. And I did use that for quite a while. I only used it on the late model Challenger. <laughs> I got to a point I was like, I'm going to feel terrible if I like scuff this finish off or something. And so I kind of retired it and I was like, you know, I kind of want to have an Apros around so I can always use it and, you know, make note what I prefer and why. And when I did that, uh, I'd had a um, spinner from Napros and I hadn't really used it a ton because it wasn't blue ion plated right I still kick myself for not buying more of that when it was available uh, by the way <laughs> so, anyway that kind of like I've just left it on that brand new you know redesign of the Napros and I love it I use it all the time it never comes off the ratchet unless I take it off to put it on something else which I no longer do because I bought Koken ones uh, the Napros has that little rubber ring. You could totally use it here if you wanted to. I'm sure Fitment would be slightly better brand to brand, but uh, these are just crazy nice to have. And the catch is with the Koken, particularly their Zeal line, 36 or 72, you can actually really, really use this. It's not just like you've got a really junk ratchet. That's where spinners were nice to me previously. You don't you're sitting here and you like the ratchet does nothing it goes up and down you know it doesn't have the <laughs> ideal setup for you to start something or to continue to thread something out there's not enough resistance between the fasteners so that's where your spinner comes in with coke and you don't necessarily need it as much but if i get in like a really tight area and i've got this long handle and i can't really swing it much i can do this start it and then go to town it works really well and again, I have to credit uh, Napros for kind of, I was never really a spinner person prior to that. And uh, now I'm using them all the time. It's kind of strange, you know, as long as I've been turning ratchets. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a true story. Is that Napros one that I'm like, man, this is awesome. I think it does help having like a higher quality, right? You got to realize, you know, up until a few years ago, like I was still here at the house. Uh, we were primarily relying on U.S. Granted, it is U.S. made, but like U.S. Craftsman. So that's not as good of a place for a spinner, <laughs> as I mentioned, uh, unless it's for the reasons I covered. But uh, with these sort of like higher-end ratchets, uh, they're nice in a different way. I would highly recommend you try them. Well, whatever your most used drive size is, go price out the Koken, price out, I mean, any of them are going to be fine. It's just a spinner. But uh, grab one and, and give it a go, especially if you're kind of like me, sort of came from like lower tier stuff and worked your way up. Uh, it's a different ball game with a higher quality tool, so keep that one in mind. Uh, that, sadly or unsadly for some of you, totally wraps up our coking segment here. Uh, and again, I'm making like crazy good time here. But again, it's just in part you're familiar with all this stuff. Uh, where we're going now is PB Swissland. And uh, as you know, virtually any time I place an order from the RPD, I cannot help it. I literally can't help it but to bring in some of these magnets. And in this case, we brought in two. Uh, the part number is going to be PB6100.m.blue. Uh, they're really reasonable. This pair right here was 670 What is that? 335 a piece before discount. They're just stupid handy. Um, 
at work, I'll be picking up staples, stuff like that. Obviously, these are short. Uh, that's why you want something longer as well. If they, man, if PB Swiss made like a really nice retractable magnet, telescopic, I should say, that had this type of a handle, I'd be all over it. But uh, anyway, these are just really, really handy. Uh, obviously, I've covered what I do with them here. The house is slightly different, but for there at work, it's kind of picking up shavings. Uh, if I have to like drill something out, pick it up, clean it real good, it's easier than using a broom that's going to get embedded in the broom and then it flies when you try to get in the dustpan. This is just pick it up, <laughs> wipe it off, and go to town. Works best if you keep one clean and one for like a retrieval of bolts or something, you know. But uh, you're probably going to cross them. I just went with blue, it matches my cart, maybe. We'll Really need to try to uh, get to film it work for you at some point in time, but just can't go wrong with these. And it's literally, it's kind of like every time I order, I just tack a few more on. Last item, I know, we flew through this one. The last item I got is something that I already have. And I think I got the exact same one. I'm checking that behind the cameras. I did, I'm fine with that because I love it. Uh, this is one of my favorites that I've ever used, and it's in large part due to a giant feature, which we briefly mentioned here earlier in the video. But, uh, this is their part number, PB705.2. Very reasonable at 585. You're thinking like, oh, 585, it's not a magnet, you've already shown those. This is some bit or something like a power bit maybe, $5 mark. No, it is this glorious gem right here, and you'll be like, what is that, a center punch? Yes. Hopefully you can see that against the glove there. Very nice center punch, but what I love about it is the knurling. So this one obviously brand new, hasn't been used any, but uh, they're just a really, really solid center punch. They're economical, and uh, I was thinking the other day, I'm trying to think what it was I was doing. Obviously, usually you know, I'm near center punches when I'm machining or at the drill press, but there was something weird and I thought, man, I wish I had my little PB Swiss here. Can't think of what it was, but now I've got one. It's going to go in my cart at work. So uh, I think that is it. Uh, the little guy here, my PB Swiss one I keep. Uh, it sadly is it's not mushroom, but like it's sort of not as attractive on the top as that new one is. But uh, they're great. If you're looking for a good center punch or you want to try something different, five bucks before a sale. I mean, you just you can't go wrong there. So that is that uh, as i mentioned i did not sadly buy any locking extensions i'd love to i'm not sure if i'm gonna go proto there it'll probably depend what i can get the better price on and what's in stock but uh, slowly but surely we're just kind of building out some nice reputable extensions for the work cart and uh, we'll take it from there so drpd yet another haul this one everything's going to work minus these two because uh, they're mine and let's stay here, but everything else going to work. We got some got some nice stuff there, right? We got some uh, industrial American. We got a little bit of German. I uh, got some uh, high-end Japanese stuff now. So uh, the nut grips, the wobble fix, double universal, the spinner, the ratchet. Now we'll have this is our first coking at work. Um, I don't know the quarters really. I just I can't get over the price on the quarter drive flex. Uh, plus, it's really stubby. We might go a different route there at work, just to experiment different things, you know, try it out, compare and contrast. Uh, this one I love. I'll have zero issues having it there. Um, if Koken does come through and make that half-inch flex iteration, I could definitely see one of those being at work. That said, uh, I'm also... New builds, I'd be okay with it. Like, repairs? I don't know. <laughs> um... That's some that's some nasty stuff. So, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We're trying to kind of piece it all together, and uh, hopefully, like I said, I can kind of film it sometime and take it from there. I currently don't have any cool organization stuff there, and it sucks. I've gotten really accustomed to that. I just have it set up like I always had, the plebeian style, where, like, my pliers are just laid on the mat. <laughs> it's uh, it's totally functional, uh, and I don't have like near as much stuff at work in that cart as I do at home. Uh, but man, you know, like you kind of grow accustomed to having the nice organizational stuff, and yeah. At the same time, it's sort of like sentimental, you know, because like here at the house, that's how I always did things. Like my wrenches, I never had a wrench rack. I had them laid out, you know, it was like seven metric and seven SAE, and boom, boom, boom. 
you know, uh, spring steel rails and back with those like I had in the Craftsman, except for the deeps. I didn't have spring steel for the deeps, so they were just laid out, but I nested stuff so they wouldn't roll. Uh, we'll have to, we'll have to do a toolbox tour on some of that old stuff. But yeah, this is how I rolled, man, for the longest time is everything was just laid out. And, uh, it's not quite as cool, but it is somewhat organized provided it doesn't roll around like crazy. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, like I said, it sucks, but at the same time, it's sort of like flashback sentimental and sentimental and nostalgic type of a feel you get, you know? Uh, but the main thing literally is just like it's not crowded yet enough to, for that to not function So it's got that going for it, but um, Yeah, we'll take it from there So the goal with the work card is not to overpopulate it and have like you know everything I could possibly ever need It's literally just I want it to be functional for like 90% of what I'm gonna do and maybe have some specialty stuff in there and it's essentially just where I don't have to rely on the station I'm at having what it's supposed to have where it's supposed to be because it's never like that and I waste so much time because someone else took you know the 7 H wrench over to some other place now, I don't know where they took it I don't know what they were doing I just know when I went to go grab it for a half inch tube nut it's not there and it just it kills me on the inside it really does everything has a place for a reason and when you're working with multiple people you know and someone else is like oh yeah hey I can't find the seven eights over here there's one back there I'll go grab it there's supposed to be one where you were and instead of finding that you just took easy street and grabbed one from a different area and now that one's gone and I don't know what you've done and I cannot figure out your brain pattern and it's just I got sick of it I said screw it uh, you know, some of this stuff is like getting kind of long in the tooth. Anyway, I'm just going to put together a box, a little cart that I can take from A to B and always have what I want, where I want it, how I want it. And it's it's been super nice. So with that said, I got the low battery light flashing for the low battery light fans. It is there. It is flashing. And we're almost out of time on the card anyway. So uh, pretty good time here. I hope you enjoy it again. Like I said, if you're looking for more details on the stuff, you're like, man, didn't even take these nut grips out of the package. Uh, rest assured, we've covered them many, many times over. This little guy right here has been getting a lot of use. It is the half inch. Again, that's for use with 5 16 bolts and nuts. And uh, yeah, they you can see some scoring there on the wall, but it still grips great. No complaints. They're fantastic. Uh, you do spend a little bit for them. Coke and sockets, very reasonable. The nut grips ratchet that up, but it's a super unique solution and it is functional. Uh, I've used it for a long time now, and uh, I think they're rebuildable. <laughs> Hold me to that. Pretty sure you can. But, uh, yeah, it's just a great setup. It's going to be awesome at work. With that said, LoneStarMopar.com is the website. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all three at Lone Star Mopars. If you have not subscribed, I encourage you to do so. If you do that and ring the bell and grab your PB Swiss center punch, hit it with your 3 8 drive 11 inch Coke and Zeal 72 tooth ratchet, YouTube just might notify you that we got new videos every Wednesday and Saturday at 9 a.m. Texas time. With that said, I do hope you enjoyed. Most importantly, hope you have yourself a fantastic weekend and I catch you back here for more action from the shop.